always feels nice playing this hero when there's no stuns, so. They're looking to find a way to maybe burst and have answers for Morphling with this quad pick. It's that, like, you know, Sonic Wave, kill a Morph maybe from full health if he's too agi Morph, so. Actually, pressure at bottom as well under Roger. A couple more auto attacks might do it. Tries to hide in the tree line, but down he goes. This is such a rough lane for the for RSG, right? And, like, Quop isn't one of those heroes that, like the Kunker, the Lina, for example, that's super capable of going and taking the small camp very easily. Maybe with three points in the uh, Scream of Pain, but until then, you're just going to get bullied out consistently, even looking to remove the south there as Roger dies again on that bottom side. Yep, and Hyde just able to... Well, with that little three on carefully. Savage, he feels confident of being able to waveform forward. Yeah, pressure on the Q. He's got some stick charges, but that's not going to help him. She dies with the spike carapace available there. Yeah. Don't know if it would have saved him. But right underneath that vision. Yeah, I think he walked past two different enemies on his way down. Uh, way over here, so. I heard a oh, primal split MKS dropped as well. Primal split. Oh, yeah. Lord. Um, the stacks are being blocked. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's been a, a single stack. So far here, Roger's dead as well. Over in the river, just trying to snag that eight minute rune away. Um, well, after the IO, so it was that long TP. Although, all right, just trying to walk this one off. Drunken Brawler doing its job. Misses, misses. Okay, not quite. Not quite enough. It looks like Hyde might also be going down here. They get a little bit of a slow. Roger's throwing out some taunts and they will just go for the dive. I was a little bit of a spectator in that fight as well. He just stood there. He's going to be going for the Manta before that. So, uh, I guess imagining that the vessel is going to be coming out of the Pangolier definitely wants a way to deal with that. Still very static lanes at the moment. It, it feels later in the game than it actually is just because of how quickly we, we had like desperation rotations to mid lane to try and save things. As, oh, another boy gets another split. kill. Yeah, another problem split, another kill. Q is still just running around. I have to wonder, like, you're, you're very close to being able to pick up this BKB on Makoto. And I normally hate it when teams try and make a play win. Rilo with bottom. Okay, KP doesn't have the split, so looking like he will be brought down here. He's trying to hide inside of the tree lines. He's tanking up. But Xiao Yu can't find the angle to get into this weird little spot. Uh, but they still get the kill in the end anyway. Not taking anyone back to top, unfortunately. Poking, but it looks like in the end, it's just going to be the tier one tower kind of going down 4-3. They do not know that the rest of town is sitting right here behind Makoto. One more touch to the tower. They bring it down. Jiao, you actually going to look for the turn around here. Sonic Wave coming at Makoto. Presses the BKB at just the right moment. And just going to look to auto attack down the Pangolier. Can't quite get it. Hyde trying to retreat out of this fight. There's a very angry Medusa right on top of him. And Savage also choosing to turn up here. They still can't finish off the Pango. KP's trying to do it with the pandas. It's one last punch from the fire panda that will do it. They've got the Quap up in the air, can check that debuff duration. Makoto doesn't actually have the stun, but Q does. KP runs up onto the high ground, finds Bonbon, bon, and it's an immediate buyback from Xiaoyu as he wants to keep this fight going. KP getting chased. Looks like he should be brought down here. That might be the last casualty of this fight. A couple more auto attacks from this double damage Quap doing the job. And RSG still looking to... Yeah, if you're going first set in BKB, I feel I think you want a much more dominant fight than that. Q, gotta be careful. There is a sentry ward down here. Nice two man stun, though. Big lockdown. Makoto comes in from the side. Doesn't have a huge amount of mana. MK is just locked down. Roger, nothing that he can do except sit here. Tether, overcharge, and hope that that's enough. MKS getting stunned up. As he just tries to split shot his way through the fight, they will just barely get hide. Uh, bon Bonbon from downtown with the long range shadow realm. There. They do it. Did it underneath the ward, I believe. Are they going to fight after this? They're still very healthy on the side of uh, Fallon. Hyde going to be the first target into the backline. Swing through Savage goes. He's going to be fine. Got the Manta. Hyde's not even dead just yet. Jayu will finally finish the job. But now he's getting locked down. They've already lost Bon Bon. So they're off lane one, two, both gone. And uh, well, at least Deuce is farming. But yeah. Well, they end up taking that tier 2 tower eventually. Still got 20 seconds left on the Aegis. And it looks like they just want to continue to consolidate what Savage has been able to claim so far. He's farming the, the smoke. ultimate orb in his back. back. They're looking to KP, but he gets the primal split off here. So yeah. this is a very awkward team fight. <laughs> Roll doing very little. Primal split doing very little. Uh, who is going to get the better of the regoose here is the real question. MKS walking in. They're looking towards this Earth Panda. He doesn't have the Ags just yet, so we'll be coming back there. Gone. Yeah, Aegis is being reclaimed. Got to be a little bit careful. Hyde's going to put his life on the line. Double silence on the two sports. 
And they're just gonna get focused down immediately in the back lines. They also catching out 23 Savage and just looking to bring him down. Makoto not really able to connect properly. Quick silver amulet delivered to Makoto as well. He's level 20, so he's got the fiery soul stack uh, talent. Oh, very nice by Savage there to be able to dodge out that. And well, they absolutely, if they're able to survive this, are going to look to go for a team fight. Fresh use out of the Silver Edge means he's going to get away, and... Oh, oh I need to get a stun here. Right, you looking to pincer in from the side. Okay, doesn't want to get too close. KP going to pop, split number one, and just start chasing forward. Can they get any kind of a catch? They've got the Dark Willow over in the trees, in the Shadow Realm for the time being. This dude is just standing your ground and killing off the pandas, however. You get the stun onto Makoto, but he cleans up the kill. Yeah, yeah. Now MKS standing his ground in the middle of this fight. They're going to look for the reload out. Can they actually get it in time? They can't hide. Not quite able to keep him shackled there. Explorer gets the BKB off, but he is not going to live through that. Gem immediately getting claimed off of that. And KP keeps the chase going with his secondary primal split. And he will be able to get the blink away from the Pango. So slippery. Survives, but Makoto is just standing here, dishing out all the damage. Not even forced to use the BKB. Uh, oh, they might run into each splits. other while RSG is split. Yep. He only has pops. the one split. Oh, yeah, RSG got to be a little bit careful. Roger, if he gets focused on here, won't be able to go for the reload out. Blink away from MKS. Makoto just dealing with these supports, no problem whatsoever. At least they make the space for their deuces. This age is to the most of their ability. It's only got two minutes left on it, but Savage is 700 gold away from the, uh, the BKB. He wants that. He wants his level 20 as well. For the waveform attacks targets and Radiance want to be able to make use of this mass serpent wards too just be able to push the high ground so if they can get a pick on the outside that's a bonus for them well high ground we say. shall go talon are looking for it Makoto doesn't have a I whole mean, lot of mana left they're even kind of like Radiance bullying two lanes at once right savage off to the yeah. side making sure to push in the top lane he's got his bkb coming out to him so he'll have that by the time that the aegis is reclaimed and Stone gates used, a little bit of lockdown on 23 Savage, gotta be careful, but he does still have the Aegis for another 40 seconds, so he's gonna be okay. Makoto also getting stone gazed up here, a couple of crits could do the job, but Q with the stuns right here in the middle of the team fight, just locking down everybody. Beautiful work from him, now lockdown onto Xiaoyu, he gets hexed, triple kill for Makoto, beyond godlike, and they're just going straight for it here, Dano. Yeah, I'm sure for they are gonna pop it. KP, but... Axelurn, can it's you even TP out attempt. here? He can't. Nope. It was a nice attempt, but looking like this is just going to be it. They're throwing all the buybacks that they have into it, but uh, I think RSG knows the way that this one's going. Yeah. They'll be dropping the first game of the entire season of the DPC, so not something a lot of people were expecting. They were expecting them to maybe go 14 and 0, but 13 and 1 now. Uh, we've still got a game number three to come. It really did feel like that Lena was just the perfect counter pick for the mid lane. I was kind of expecting, you know, maybe the Ember Spirit who was still in the pool just to provide that little bit of extra lockdown that they might need. But it really felt like KP had the capability to have a free game. Offling, good uh, response to the Dusa, and Lena, good response to basically everything that they had in the entire yeah. game. And you know, that's, that's not even to discount the supports. I thought that Q, with his stack blocking, did a